I would hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel music game news I hope that you guys are doing wonderful today my name is Ovila I am your host Ovila and today I will be reacting to my second no my third Ernie Zachary video because the first one that I reacted to she was singing solo if I'm not mistaken and she was not married yet because she was not wearing the hijab because you guys told me she started wearing the hijab as soon as she got married and you know uh, happy for her Congratu congratulations to her the second one uh, video of Ernie, Ernie Zachary that I reacted to uh, she was singing a, a duet with her current husband if I'm not mistaken and now I'm gonna be reacting to her singing solo again Gunda on AJL 35 and this took place last year so I don't know if last year she was already married or not we will see I guess <laughs> um, but before we start make sure to follow me on Instagram at music game news because that is where you can DM me your suggestions and without further ado let's get to it and and i forgot one little thing i'm gonna have to reduce the opacity of the video to avoid copyrights all right let's get to it Oh, we got a pianist. It was during the pandemic. Okay. Gorgeous. The piano is just gorgeous with the strings behind. And I think this is the first time that I see uh, the focus on the pianist. You know, usually the focus is on the artist and like there is an orchestra behind that you can't really see very well. So maybe this guy is popular too. <laughs> Yeah, I think here she's already married because she's wearing the hijab. Composer and uh, penulis lyrics, so the writer of the of the lyrics. Ernie Zachary and Sharon, Sharon Paul. Is he the, the pianist? Who knows? It's possible. Do you hear the slight delay on her voice? I loved that part. You know, I was not expecting them to introduce the bass at that moment. The rumbling plus the the crash. Let me let me rewind that part. I found the composition of this track very interesting. I'm not used to this type of composition. Oh, 
Oh, there are backup vocalists. Are there actual backup vocalists uh, somewhere on stage, but you know, they're not filming them? Or did she pre-record herself, you know? I don't know. I saw the um, the people that are playing the strings on the left, right there. Wow. She is a fantastic belter and I say fantastic belter not because she is uh, the strongest belter that I've ever heard you know no that's not the case but she's still a fantastic belter because she knows how to control her voice really well like she is always on pitch and it's incredible i love it do you know how hard it is to remain on pitch when you belt such strong notes it's very hard so i gotta give it to her She said chinta, again, chinta, which means love, right? She said chinta ku, chinta, chinta. They use a lot that word, man. Love, 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 love. Do you hear the electric guitars? You know, when I reacted to my last uh, Malaysian uh, reaction video, I wrote uh, i read a comment of someone that was trying to explain to me the uh, musical tendencies of uh, malaysia and mentioned that you guys love to love rock in general and love to incorporate rock into your uh, your songs and here's the proof again with the electric guitars that are mixed with the beautiful orchestra you know hey i didn't see you there well now that you're here, um, why don't you celebrate uh, for making it this far into this video by subscribing to the channel, by turning on that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos, and of course, and the most important thing, to like this video because it does help out the channel tremendously. And now if you don't mind, I'm gonna go back to my business. Okay, now I can see better her outfit. You know, I was confused. I was like, how come the, the, the top of her body is so slender and slim, but from here on, from here to the rest down there is like this big ball, you know? I was really confused, but I think it's the outfit that looks like that. Like it's created like that. Like there is a hard part like a ball or maybe she wore this specific outfit because she was pregnant ha oh, ha it's possible i don't know but that's definitely not the shape of her body you know that's i cannot believe it because i've seen her wear you know a regular outfit and she does not look like this so yeah i think the outfit was made to be like that <laughs> Crazy hits. This is the bridge. It's called a bridge when the song kind of changes a lot, you know, when the uh, artist and the, uh, the, 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 like, the orchestra or the band uh, take risks with the song, you know, that's called a bridge.
Wow, that part gave me chills, man. Especially when she started pushing on that pedal. You know, the... <laughs> I can't do it, obviously. I'm no singer. I'm just a beat maker, music producer, and obviously music critic. Can I call myself a music cri critic? Whatever. You like, you know, movie critic, music critic. Who cares? Um, yeah, but that part, when she like pushes on the pedal as she is belting the note, mm, that gave me chills. Wow, she's emotional. Oh, I wonder what this song means, Gunda. Respect, girl, respect. I cannot believe that she's able to control her voice this well, despite the fact that she's feeling this emotional, you know? The show must go on. That's basically it. You're feeling emotional or angry, doesn't matter. You're here to entertain and to deliver a, uh, a poignant performance, you know? And that's exactly what she's doing. It's crazy that she's able to hit the notes right, even if... She's emotional. When you're emotional, you know, your voice tends to get shaky. So, wow. Huh? It's uh, written... Ah, Surat Al-Fatiha. Yeah. Surat Al-Fatiha, it's written so... Well, I mean, Surat Al-Fatiha is not that short. Uh, أنا أنا وأنا إلها راجعون راجعون إن الله وأنا إلى إله راجعون. I think that's what's written in in Arabic. It's just the writing is so complex because it's like the writing that you actually find in the uh, book, the Quran. And then in Malay, I can't really read that. Uh, what is that? Snoga? Suroga? Rohniya? Di kukuri rahmat dan di tempa tun? Di tempa un? Di kalang orang yang beriman? Yeah, well, I can't read that. I wonder why they put Surat Al-Fatiha there, you know? Is this like a religious song? Beautifully, beautifully, beautifully sung. Congratulations to her, man. She delivered it despite how she felt about the lyrics that she was singing and maybe even uh, maybe the, 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 the sounds, you know, the melody, the, everything that's around the lyrics also moves her deeply. So that was honestly a great performance. I would have to re-listen to the first one that I reacted to and compare Gunda to that one because this one actually gave me chills. I wonder if the other one did as well, but I remember being very impressed. So yeah, we'll see. Um, now I get it. I get it why you wanted me to react to this. Um, well, thank you for joining me, of course. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this. On this. Take care of yourselves, have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next video. And of course, Ramadan Karim to everyone and Ramadan Mabrook because it's gonna start this weekend or Monday maybe. I'm not sure, you know, depends on the moon. So yeah, you know, good luck to everybody and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work and turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.